Love is an untamed force. When we try to control it, it destroys us. When we try to imprison it, it enslaves us. And when we try to understand it, it leaves us feeling lost and confused. Paulo Coelho Poor Tom. In a few minutes it'll all be over. And for the first time since he met her, he'll be happy. Poor, miserable, lovesick creature. Oh, love, the driving force in our lives that can make us do incredible things. A force so mysterious it leaves even the strongest minds perplexed. But it's also an incredibly dangerous force. Love can take you up to high heavens, but it won't hesitate to let you fall to the depths of Hades either. If you're unprepared, that is. Assuming that you strengthen your heart, you can avoid breaking it. Or at least you'll be prepared to put it back together yourself. It's a topic that I've tackled before on my channel in my last Fairly Odd Parents video, so if you want to dive deeper into this topic, feel free to check that video out. Or, of course, you could watch Made to Express's video on the same Tom and Jerry episode. It's an episode that is often talked about here on YouTube and Made to Express definitely captured the essence of this episode perfectly. Blue Cat Blues is a Tom and Jerry episode that is unlike any other. An episode that tackles the force of love exceptionally well. From the very beginning there was a strong magnetic attraction between them. The episode starts off with our beloved and furry friend, Tom, sitting on top of empty train tracks. Depressed and abandoned, he sits there awaiting his final moment. Life has been sucked out of him completely. All he has left now is a few moments for himself. Just a few moments before it's all over. Before the train arrives though, Jerry tells us how it came to this. He explains in bitter detail how his friend lost all his resolve to live. We are then brought back to a sunny afternoon where Tom and Jerry are enjoying a drink together. When suddenly this, well, to be honest not so beautiful female white cat walks by. But regardless of my opinion, Tom loses it completely. He is instantly in love with her. No doubt in his mind, she has to be the one. And so, while Tom goes on the pursuit of his love, Jerry does everything in his power to stop his friend from getting hurt. He knows too well where this will lead if he doesn't. But it's to no avail. Tom is completely infatuated with her. His eyes have nothing more to see but her. His body has nothing more to fight for but her. And his mind has nothing else to think about but her. Not even himself. And at first that wasn't an issue. She seemed to be returning the love at least somewhat and that made Tom happy. Happier than he's ever been before for that matter. He's feeling something new and mystical. The feeling of love. And though he doesn't quite understand it, he doesn't care much. In fact, he has no care at all in this big wide world of his. But it is still a small world after all. And before Tom is even ready to handle this new love of his, it's already at risk of being taken away from him. Mr. Butch has set his eyes on Tom's girl and quickly started to win her over with many kisses and luxurious gifts. However, Tom was not about to give up either. His entire being was not only in love, but also obsessed with her. Whatever he could muster, Tom would do to win her back, and so he did exactly that. At first he buys her flowers, then he tries to win her over with perfume. He wasted all of his savings to buy her the smallest diamond ring ever. And after all else, he signs away his life to buy a car to impress her. He literally sells himself into slavery for a girl that won't even recognize him. And needless to say, Mr. Butch is always a step ahead of him and wins over her heart without even breaking a sweat. Afterwards, our dear Tom is in the gutter, literally. He is left with this huge gaping hole in his chest, as if someone had just torn his heart right out. Tom is depressed. He can't bear the pain he is in and so he tries to fill the hole inside by drinking the sufferings away. But nothing will fill the void. In fact, there is nothing left for him to fill the void with and he can't bear to live with it any longer. We are then brought back to the present, seeing our beloved Tom again, and suddenly feeling really bad for him. And it all worsens once Jerry realizes that his girl has just betrayed him as well, bringing him to the same spot Tom is in, the two friends side by side once again. 
but this time it would be their last journey together. And all of it just because of love, or better yet, because of the lack of love for oneself. When the jewelry failed to impress her, he signed away his life to buy a car. 312 monthly payments at 112% interest. It cost him an arm and a leg. But he willingly sold himself into slavery. Most of us struggle with finding love in our lives, to the point even where some of us become obsessed with the idea of having to have someone who loves you. But the truth is that, until you are ready to love yourself, you will never be able to love others. And in turn, no one else will be able to love you. It's a lesson my mom taught me when I was young. She used to always say, before you can truly love anyone or anything else, you first have to love yourself. But as a childish and immature kid, I didn't know what she meant and so it took me a while to make use of the advice. And then as a teenager, I was always desperately looking for love. Not unlike our friend Tom here, really. I was obsessed with the idea of needing a girlfriend and never focus on appreciating myself. Which obviously, inevitably led me to many heartbreaks. The last of which was by far the worst. After being dumped, I found myself in a similar situation to Tom and Jerry. I was left with this emptiness inside of me and I couldn't find anything to fill it with. I don't really like to talk about it, but I spent a month crying daily and drinking almost half a gallon of undiluted apple syrup on a regular basis. Basically pure sugar. And trust me, I wish I was exaggerating. Like Tom, I was lucky to have friends who stood by my side at the time and helped me out with my depressed state. But unlike Tom, I refused to give up on life. I would be lying if I said that at the time I hadn't thought about it, but in the end I persevered. And I grew a lot because of it. It made me more of a man and beat the childishness right out of me. I used that experience to learn. To learn that, in the end, there is only one thing that can fill the void left by others. And that is a deep love for oneself. Not in a self-centered way, but in a caring way. Knowing who you are and what you're worth will give you a new sense of appreciation for yourself. Tom and I back then, we both lacked that love for ourselves. And when that girl walked by, it took us by surprise. We became obsessed with the idea of loving and forgot to actually love. We then lost a bit of who we were in the process, and so, once she was gone, we felt like nothing. As if there was nothing else to what made us who we were. We were so focused on her that we forgot that we even existed. And now that she was gone, we felt like a body without a soul. Tom and I felt like an empty shell, desperately craving our being to come back. But the truth is that whatever made that girl so special, so beautiful, so loving and so unique, was 50% the creation of our own self. Whenever you love someone, 50% of that love is made up of you. But many of us tend to forget that. We start believing that we are worthless and that our love interest is this godlike figure who makes up 100% of the relationship. But that isn't the case. You are worth a lot. And you are also worth loving. And I'm not only talking about you, Tom, but I'm also talking about you, the viewer. Loving oneself is the first step in finding true love. Otherwise, you will only find yourself in a toxic relationship filled with materialistic garbage. Let me tell you something that helped me back then. It's okay to be flawed and it's okay to feel heartbroken. See it as an opportunity to grow and to learn. Try to appreciate who you are and what good you bring to the world. Try to appreciate yourself and then strive to become a better version of yourself. Because let me tell you, you are worth loving. But first, you have to learn to love yourself. No one is obligated to loving you because no one is enslaved to living with you. No one but yourself, that is. So you have to love yourself, otherwise no one else will do it for you. And then life will be miserable and dark. Learn from the mistakes I've made and learn from the mistakes Tom and Jerry made. Learn to love yourself for who you are, because trust me, you are worth loving. Learn to love yourself so that you can enjoy to love others. If anyone would like to talk about any doubts they have about your life or any issues they're facing, please text me on Twitter, Insta, Discord or just email me. All the links are on the YouTube banner or in the About section of this channel and I'm happy to talk to anyone who needs it.
Thanks for watching guys, feel free to subscribe and check out one of my previous videos right here. This channel is all about looking at video games and pop culture from a different perspective, about digging deeper into the meaning of life and how we can get there with video games, movies and TV shows. So if that interests you, maybe subscribe, maybe hit the bell to be notified. What about that, huh? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> See ya. Do you think I can be a hero too?